The city of Houston uh, has goals to reduce traffic deaths and serious injuries to zero by 2030, uh, which is a really bold goal and requires a lot of different uh, pieces of the puzzle to come together to get there. One of those pieces is data analysis. And so we were really pleased uh, to be able to work with these students on their capstone um, and to get some really great data analysis on our crash data in the city, um, along with some of our roadway characteristics and demographic data. Um, it's all coming together to get us some really great highlights uh, that are helping us make decisions about how to get those serious injuries and fatalities down to zero. So our project was focused on reducing uh, traffic deaths and serious injuries in the city of Houston. Uh, right now, 60% of all traffic deaths and serious injuries in Houston happen on just 6% of its roads. And so we think there's a serious need to sort of figure out how to improve road infrastructure to decrease those deaths. Um, so using different sources of data we had, um, we decided to use a, a linear regression model and try and come up with the most significant causes of those accidents and ways we can sort of mitigate them. What, what we hope to have is a public dashboard that any Houstonian can go and see, look at various statistics and demographics, um, as well as sort of where these crashes are happening. And so they can sort of inform themselves. And then we'd also be, like to inform the city of Houston on best ways to decrease those traffic deaths. Uh, and one of them is if a crosswalk was present at the location of the crash, especially this matters if it's a pedestrian crash, right? Um, and they found that if a crosswalk is present, then that lowers the likelihood for that crash to have occurred um, based on their analysis. And so that's an immediate indication to us of, well, we know what we need to do. And what, you know, one big insight have you generated from this project? Yeah, I think uh, in general, more lights are better. I don't know if you've driven around Houston on some of the side roads, but especially at night, it can get pretty dark without your headlights, with your headlights on even. So more lighting will probably go a long way to, to decrease those deaths. If folks want to learn more about Vision Houston, learn more about sort of track the progress, uh, what's the best way to keep informed about everything y'all are doing? Uh, we would love for people to go to visionzrhouston.com. There's a couple things you can do there. You can take a pledge. Uh, that says that you're not going to contribute to these serious injuries and fatalities. And there's also an interactive map where you can look at our high injury network of dangerous streets. And you can also put pins down on that map to say, hey, this intersection is dangerous for me. I am concerned about this location. Uh, we love all that information. It adds to this data analysis that the students are working on now. So visionzerohouston.com.